Wales. Well, joining me now is Fran Boyd, Chief Executive of Positive Money. Morning to you, Fran. Morning. Thanks for having me on. Well, the pressure's clearly been building, hasn't it, on the Chancellor in recent days, ahead of his big statement tomorrow, uh, cut taxes, increase benefits, help the elderly. But given he's coping with an economy post-pandemic and against the backdrop, too, of energy problems caused by the war in Ukraine, uh, realistically, does he have much wriggle room? Yes, well, I think there's a there's a lot that uh, the Chancellor can do. I think you know the starting point for this conversation is is about all of us. You know, matter, no matter where we live, what we do for a living, we all want to know that we've got enough to get by, um, enough to build a life on. And, and for too long, the price of everyday things, food, gas, electric, has just gone up. And at the same time, for most of us, the amount we get paid just hasn't. So you know, everyone is feeling the bite right now, but people on the lowest incomes are being hit the hardest. And people in the UK are facing really tough choices. The the soaring gas prices, which are set to rise in April, uh, are likely to leave one in three UK households um, making decisions about whether to keep their lights on or put food on the table. And look, you know, this isn't a new problem, and that's really important to realise. It's part of a system that pushes families, low-paid workers, into the red. And at the same time, we have gas producers uh, declaring you know, huge profits. Shell last year quadrupled their profits to almost 20 billion. We've had a decade in the UK of, of declining wages and stagnating wages. So this is really a cost of living scandal because it doesn't have to be this way and it shouldn't. And what we need right now is a political leadership um, that will squeeze profits, um, you know, that won't turn a blind eye to the, to the huge profits being made at energy uh, energy producers, whilst at the same time um, workers and families are, are struggling.